How to paint your Necron Annihilation Barge. Okay, here's a look at the finished model. And uh, these are the thrusters, you want to keep them separate from the beginning. Start off by coating the entire thing in Chaos Black, obviously. So here's a quick look at that. So the entire model is done in Chaos Black. That can be done with spray paint, or if you prefer, just do it by hand. Make sure to get every nook and cranny because you don't want to end up with horrible grey patches on your barge, especially when you're sending it off into battle. Okay, now this step is very subtle. What I have done is taken Dark Angel's Green and dabbed it around some of the areas to add depth for later on. You may have noticed this in uh, some of my other ship painting videos, and this helps to add effect after you put all of the greens on. But this Dark Angel's Green is very hard to notice at first, and that's how it should be. You can see I've also done this on the thrusters. If we take a look at the first one, it's very hard to see the green, although you might be able to uh, pick it up with your screen if you've got a very bright one. But it's, it's applied very subtly. The point is not to stand out, it's instead to add effect for later on, so you don't need to worry if it's not completely obvious. Right, now you need to add snot green. Uh, you can dry brush this on to different areas of the ship panels to add a, a greater variety of colour and you can try panel, panel lining all of the edges and this helps to make it seem as if the ship is actually glowing. Just do this to the main area of the ship, don't bother with the warriors or the thrusters or the gun of course. Now the most detailed part, what you want to do is get Scorpion Green and use it to do all the edges of the ship where you think it is appropriate. Also use it to do the green for the thrusters. And paint that orb in the middle of the podium. And you can see it's used around the edges and it's also used to colour in the orb at the top. And various bright colours have been used on the buttons. These Warriors just have a normal paint scheme, except that guy has a burnished gold uh, eye lens thing. And uh, you can see in the background every now and again that I've actually used burnished gold for the outside of the podium stand. There's also bolt gun metal on the inner spine, and uh, you see that scorpion green orb there, and the bolt gun metal thrusters. It's a very simple paint scheme, this. Alright, here it is with the gun finished. This gun took quite a long time. I used a variety of blues uh, and greys to do the inside of the barrel. You see that uh, scorpion green orb on the front. And uh, the main gun itself has blood red orbs on it. And the blues are different blues, including uh, ice blue, uh, space wolves grey and regal blue and some other blues as well but the main body of the gun is just dry brushed in bolt gun metal with a bit of mithril silver to highlight the ends and you can see the little tubes in it other than the fading it's a very simple paint scheme to apply so don't worry if you're a beginner Thanks for watching this video, and if you have any comments, just leave them below. And don't forget to watch my other videos, and I'll see you guys in the future.